Hi friends, in the previous video of this series, we have seen how to use digital I.O. pins of Arduino as output. And we have also made some example projects. If you haven't watched that video, you can find its link on the top of the screen and in the description below. So in this video, we are going to use Arduino digital pins as input. And we also gonna make some example projects. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. First connect a push button to breadboard and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin D2 of Arduino. Now connect a 10k resistor to breadboard and connect its one pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. Now connect an LED to breadboard and connect its positive pin to pin D3 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor to breadboard and connect its one pin to negative pin of LED and its other pin to ground. So this is the first example code we are going to upload to Arduino. Let's have a look at the commands of this program. In this setup function, the first command is pin mode. The first parameter of this command is 2 which represents pin D2 of Arduino and the second parameter is input written in capital letters. So this command is setting pin D2 of Arduino as input. The second command in the setup is also pin mode which is setting pin D3 of Arduino as output. In the loop function, there is only one command which is digital write. The first parameter of this command is 3 which represent Arduino's pin D3 and the second parameter is digital read command with capital R and the only parameter of this command is 2 written in parentheses which is representing pin D2 of Arduino. So the digital read command is getting the state value of pin D2 of Arduino and the digital write command is setting pin D3 to that state. If the button is pressed the state of pin D2 goes high and the LED turns on and when the button is released the LED goes off. Let's upload the code to Arduino and see the working in real time. So you can see the code is working properly, but this is a very simple code. Let's make it a little more interesting by adding a few more commands in loop function. So the second command in the loop function is a one second delay. After that, there is a digital write command, which is setting pin D3 to low. And the last command is another one second delay. Now let's upload this code to Arduino and see how this project works. So you can see when we press the button, the LED starts blinking. And when we release the button, the LED stays off. So that's it for today. I hope you have learned something from this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.